I should not need to move this censure. The Prime Minister should have acted. But over recent weeks, the Senate, the press gallery, the Australian public have been treated with contempt by an Assistant Minister for Health who has an unhealthy tendency to mislead. The Minister has failed to account for her actions by answering questions, and when she has answered questions, she has demonstrated, at best, a reckless disregard for the truth. At the heart of this matter is the failure of the Assistant Minister for Health to explain how an individual with interests in a lobbying firm with food clients came to be appointed her Chief of Staff, and a failure to explain how that Chief of Staff how that Chief of Staff came to order a government health information website to be shut down. What this is about, Mr President, is an allegation of conflict of interest, and more particularly an allegation of conflict of interest affecting the former Chief of Staff of the Minister. And the two ways in which that conflict of interest could have been satisfactor satisfactorily addressed is by divestment and by undertaking. And both of those courses of action were insisted upon by the Minister, and both of them, both of them, were, both of them were followed by Mr Alistair Furnival. Nothing more could have been done, could have been demanded of those concerned to avoid a conflict of interest. And this, and this chutzpah on stilts from a person who was a minister in a government maintained in power for the last three years by a criminal, Mr Craig Thompson, who has enjoyed most of her ministerial career as a member of a political party whose federal president was a criminal, Mr Michael Williamson. So please, Senator Wong, don't come into this chamber and steer an honest, decent, dignified, competent woman when the political party you represent is, is wrecked with criminality from the top to the very bottom. For me, the biggest concern here, though, is not the issue around the appointment of Mr Furnival. It's not the fact that there was a conflict of interest. It goes to the heart of everything that's wrong with our Australian democracy at the moment, and that is the privileged role of special interests in the Australian parliament. The question is that the motion moved by Senator Wong be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. aye. Those against say no. no. I think the ayes have it. No. Division required. Ring the bells. Order. There being 37 ayes, 31 noes, the matter is resolved in the affirmative.